Hey guys, Lego Boy over here, and today I'm gonna be doing a Lego review, and this is gonna be a review of one of my favorite Star Wars sets, well, the Lego Star Wars Republic gunship, and the set number is seven five zero two one, and it's ages nine to fourteen. And it has 1,175 pieces, which is quite a bit. And here is the new uh, minifigures that comes with it. I'll show you the minifigures here in a second. But here's that. And here is the back of it. And it looks like it has uh, quite a bit of play features. So, And it also um, comes with a poster. I'm going to show you that right now. So here is the poster. And has battle scene in it. And on the back it has all the new characters. So yeah. And now all the, and now I'm going to show you the minifigures that comes with it. So here is the clone commander, the first one. And it has pretty cool printing on the torso and on helmet and has the blaster that you have to build. Here's the printing on his face. It has an angry face. I think it's funny. They all the clones have an angry face, which is kinda of funny. <laughs> I don't get it. Well that's what makes them clones. And uh <laughs> Um, here is the clone pilot. Has really awesome printing on the torso and has printing on the back of the torso. And comes with a little blaster and has the helmet and has the same angry face. And here is um, Anakin Skywalker. That's pretty cool. And I mixed up the lightsabers so. This is Obi One's lightsaber, so I mixed it up. And here's the Padawan Anakin. Has really, really awesome printing on the torso and printing on the back. And his hair, this ain't the actual color of his hair. It's actually a around a sort of like a dark brown. So, but it still looks pretty cool. And here is Obi One Kenobi has the beard, the red beard and red hair, and uh, has a printing on the legs, which I love to see printing on the legs, and the printing on the back, and the lightsaber, this, like I said, this is Anakin's lightsaber, and here is Padme Amidala, she comes with a set, has a blaster, has the printing on the back where she got scratched in Star Wars Episode 2 by that one monster. I don't know the name of it. But hair is in a little bun. So yeah. Pretty cool little minifigure. And here is a super battle droid. There's two of them. I'm just going to show you one of them. And if y'all got some of the older sets, you'll see these a lot. So yeah. Now... For the Republic gunship. There we get. Okay, and here is the Republic gunship. This is a really awesome set, and it has a handle so you can carry it around. Do like shake it around. And first, here is the cockpit. Has the uh, printing right there. If you can barely see it though, I can't get close. And here is opening doors which is pretty awesome and here is a little flick missile holder so put that back in there close these back and there's just a little room there for Padme Amidala to stand there I don't really know what that's for if that's just an extra place to carry some clones and it also has the uh, the little laser cannons in the front that can Move all the way around, which is pretty cool. And it has in here, and it has the bubble pods 
I think this looks so cool when it's just like this, like in attack mode. That just looks awesome. But the bubble pods. This is false to the movie, the bubble pods. Because in the movie, it's a full spear. But this there ain't really that much protection in the back. But the p bubble pods can go into it. Like if you're going back to space. But. And they can um, turn all the way around like this. They can't go all the way down because this right here is blocking it. It just do this and just get pushed over to the side. So yeah. And here is a really cool function. There's these little two handles back there, and if you pull that back, it opens these so you can fit. There's plenty of room to put all kinds of clones in there. So. And you can just do it by hand, which is a bit easier to do. And has in the back this another one comes down and there's a little speeder on it. So yeah, and it just slides right in there. And it and on the top it has flick missiles. You, you can just push push like that and just shoot them off. Boom. Boom. That's kind of cool. I love flip missiles, but, and it has her public symbol right there, and there is a lot of stickers on this, which, it looks pretty awesome, that's a big, um, thrusters, or rocket boosters, or engines, I don't know, <laughs> so yeah, and it has the bubble pods on the wings, and that's a sticker right there, so yeah, this is, this is me, personally, I think I think it looks better when it's print when the sticker is printed onto the piece to where you don't have to put the sticker on. Cause this is just me. I personally do not like to put stickers on Lego because it's hard to get just right. So yeah, and but that's but that's just a but that's just me. But this is a really cool set. I think Lego did an awesome job with this. This is really awesome, and there's a little containment box in here. So let me put this down. And if you open it, it has a holocron from the Yoda Chronicles. So yeah, that's really cool. And so guys, that's it for my first Lego Star Wars review, and I'll probably be doing more. I'll probably be um, reviewing the Lego Ninjago Overborg Attack, and that is a pretty cool set, and the Ninchopper. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be doing more reviews soon, and see you guys next time.